the second video, okay, tolerate uh, rate of change. Okay, so rate of change, we have two different rate of change. Okay, first one is for a line, and the other one is for a curve. Okay, so when you have a line, the rate of change, exact name is constant rate of change. We said constant slope, same thing. Okay, the next one, when you have a curve. We said average rate of change, okay? This is the curve. So we're going to find the average rate of change from x1 and y1, okay? So we make two points of your make one line, okay? Straight line. This name is called the secant, okay? So using this secant, we can find the slope, right? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 over here, okay? But this is we said average rate of change. Because uh, between these two points, there are so many different slopes, okay? All right. Take all average can be obtained using these two points, okay? From the C cat. Now we're going to have some example. <clears throat> what is the average of rate of change over here from 0 to 4, okay? So we're going to find the, the value of y when x is 4 first. F of 4 is how much? 1 over 2 times 4 squared is 16 and minus 4, okay? Step by step, that is 4. So F of x equals 0, minus 4, okay? Right. That is right, change in uh, delta y, okay? So now let's find average rate of change. I'm going to use a capital M. Average rate of change is what is that? F of 4 minus F of 0 over 4 minus 0. That is by definition, okay? F of 4 is 4. The second one is negative 4 over 4, right? That is 8 over 4 is what? 2 is the answer, okay? Alright, this is number 2. What is the average rate change? The interval is given when t equals to 1 and 3, okay? So 4.9 squared, okay? So by definition, d3 over d is 1, okay? That is a change in y of the secant, okay? And 3 minus 1, that's it, okay? So put this number in there. d over 3 is how much? 4.9 times 9, okay? So you have to use a calculator, okay? Let me check your calculator. D over 3 equals 4.9 times, okay, 3 squared, okay, that is 9, equals 44.1. So when this is 1, that is 4.9, okay, over and 2. How much is 1? This is the average rate of change. 44.1 minus 4.9. After that, divide by 2 equals 19.6, okay? Yeah, meters per second. That is average rate of change, okay? All right. <clears throat> okay, we have a graph, all right, the height of red roads. Uh, this is days, okay? The height of red rose will increase or grow up, grow up, and the finally almost reach by 40, okay? All right, that's a graph. Uh, this is table is given, more exact data of here, okay? When t is 0, that is 2, okay? This is 2 there, this is 2. Okay, when n is 10, that is 3.5, okay? More accurate data there. Okay, the next one over here. Find average rate of change in height from 10 to 70 days. It's 10 to 70, from here to here, right? From here, 10 to 70 over here. Here to here. You want to make a uh, second. Okay, now let's make a second, right? Straight right, from here to here. Pass at this point. Okay? All right, that is the second. Okay, now let's find out the change in y from here to here, okay? 
So this number and the 70 over here. And that is the difference will be delta y, okay? That is y2 minus y1. So 39.2, 3.5, how much? 35.7, right? Okay. So average rate of change m, or you can use ABR, okay? ARB, okay, average rate of change. ARC is better, okay? ARC, average rate of change. That is equals to 35.7 over change in x is 70 minus 10 is 60. Okay, that is the average rate of change. Now let's find the value of this one, okay? So 35.7 over 60. That is what? 0 0.595, okay? 0 0.595 is the answer. <clears throat> so number four is by each one, okay? Which of the following intervals has the greatest average rate of change? Greatest one interval. Where is it? Which two points has the greatest rate of change? Which line when you make a race circuit, okay? Which line has a steep line there? Okay, steep slope, where is it? From here, right? Okay, this is a little low down, a little low down because they have a same difference. Okay, so between two, 20 and 30 has what? Greatest what? rate of change, okay? That's number four. Okay, the next one, okay, tip three, okay, uh, parallel and perpendicular lines. But you guys know this already, okay? So when you have parallel, same slope, same slope, M1 equals MT, but different Y intercept, B2 is not equals to B1, okay? Right, same slope, different Y intercept. Slope psi equals, Y intercept is different. But when they are perpendicular, okay, their slope, M1, M2, Right, they are what? Negative reciprocal each other, okay? So M1 equals negative 1 over M2, right? That is a negative, negative reciprocal, okay? If this is true, the lines are perpendicular. Or you can use this one too, okay? M1 times M2 equals negative 1, okay? Then we're going to try number 1. All right, which of the following is an equation for the line passing through the point? negative 4 and 1, that is a parallel to 4x minus 2 y equals 3. Parallel is the same slope. Watch the slope over here. Negative 2y equals negative 4x plus 3. From here we can find the right slope, okay? The slope this one. Negative 4 over negative 2 is what? Slope is 2. This line has a slope is 2. The other line also has slope is 2, right? But slope this one, okay? So you can use a slope intercept form or point to slope form. I'm going to use a point to slope form. Y minus Y1 is 1, slope is 2, X minus, minus 4 is X plus 4, okay? That is a point to slope form. Now you can transform into a slope intercept form from here, okay? Y equals how much? 2X plus 8, one more 9 there, plus 10, okay? Uh, plus 9 is this, okay? Perpendicular. Okay. Every time they give this type of questions, okay, one is the parallel, the other one is the perpendicular. Okay. What the slope of here? Slope of here, four over two is the slope, right? Which is the two? So the other slope must be what? The other slope must be negative one over two, right? This is a negative reciprocal. Okay, at this time, I'm going to use my slope intercept form. Okay, set up this one. Y equals negative 1 over 2, X, and plus B. So this point is on this line, which is my solution. Okay, so when put this number X and Y in there, they are true. When Y is 2, X is a negative 4, and plus B. So what equals uh, this is 2 plus B, okay? What is the value of B? B equals what? Negative 1, okay? So, negative one, that's the answer. 
So negative 1 over 2x minus 1 is the answer, okay? Perpendicular. This is a very easy question, are you? Right. Okay, another one parallel, okay? But this one is a different, inter a different form of it, okay? This is a point slope. From here, we can find the parallel, okay? What's the slope over here? Negative 3 over 4 is a slope, right? But this will move the other side negative 3x. When you divide by 4, you got the slope. But pass through this point, y minus y1, y1 is negative 3. Minus minus 1 is plus 3 equals negative 3 over 4. x minus minus 2 is by x plus 2, okay? That's the answer. Where is this form? Where is this form? Here, right? Choice D is the answer. Okay, now let's try midpoint, okay? Just memorize the midpoint over here, okay? Midpoint formula over here. M, x1 plus x2 is over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2, right? The average, okay? This is distance formula, okay? You guys know this already. x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y squared, okay? All right. All right, this one is the line segment. Uh, this is, we said, partitioning a line segment with this ratio, okay, A to B. Okay, maybe uh, this is not belongs to, usually they use only what midpoint, okay, not divide the right, uh, one, two, two, okay, make, you can you divide this with about two, two, one, something like that, okay? It's not belongs to SAT, that's fine, okay. This is the formula. If you want it, you can use this. All right, try number one. Index Y plan, the midpoint A, B is about 10 and 4, and uh, point A is 5, 1. Okay, this is 5, 1, point A. Another point, we don't know. Okay, B is we don't know. You can use A and B or X and Y, okay? So, all right, so where is the midpoint? 10 and 4 is midpoint over here, okay? This point, the midpoint is a 10 and 4, right? Okay, you can set up the equations. How can you set up the equation? Okay, I'm going to make big over here. I'm going to use like this point over here. That is the average, okay? The first one. Number 10 is, how do I get the number 10? 5 plus A divided by 2 is a 10, okay? 5 plus a and divided by 2, that is equals to 10, right? So 2 times 10 is 20, and the take of 5, A is about 15. Are you okay with this? Because we know that this is 20, right? A second one is 1 plus B. 1 plus B over 2, that is uh, Y coordinate is 4, okay? Times to both sides, 1 plus B is 8. Okay, 1 plus B is 8, B equals to 7, okay? So, the other point is A is 15, B is 7, right? 15, 7 is the answer. Choice C is the answer, okay? Okay, that's all right. Midpoint, you guys know this already. Now, the next one is your distance, okay? A distance between A3 and the B and A is 13. That is distance, looks like that. that's a problem, okay? A minus B squared plus 3 minus A squared. Or B minus A squared plus 8 minus 8 minus 3 squared. That doesn't matter, okay? That is equal to 16. Okay. So how much is this one? A minus B squared. That is, this is how much? 25, right? 13, make a square root, a minus b squared equals plus 25b equals 169, okay? So a minus b squared is what, 144, okay? So what is the a minus b? Plus or minus 12, right? So absolute value, okay? They always give us what? Positive number, 12 bit this, okay? Okay, system of a linear equation, okay, we're going to do this one next uh, next video, okay? So we're going to finish up here.
Okay, that is a second video. Okay, I'm going to use well, unit number two. Okay, we finish the unit number two. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I'll see you in next video. Okay.